Yeah, boy. I'm an addict for sneakers. Addict for sneakers. Addict for sneakers. What's good? What's good? Back up in the building. It's your boy DJ Dell's back with a brand new episode here at the Sneaker Addict Show. This is the Christmas special right here. We got, we got the Kenya Wine in the building. We got Cecilia in the building. I wanted to do a Christmas episode today and break down my top five favorite Christmas shoes that I own. God, before I start, I got to shout out all the supporters, all the fans, everyone that shows love. To your boy DJ Dells in the Sneaker Addict Show, whether it's online or when I'm out, I appreciate all the love. And keep showing that love, and I'm going to keep doing this show right here. Now let's get into Coming at number five is going to be the KD5 Christmas shoe right here. This one right here, I love. This is a shoe that over time, I actually began to appreciate this sneaker more. It just brings me back to when I was a kid with the whole video game theme. I mean... Video games as a kid, like, was everything to me. Like, every Christmas I wanted the new video game, you know, whether it's Super Mario, Zelda, whatever it was when I was mad young. So, it was just such a big deal back then, you know, video games. And this brings me back to when I was a kid. And there's a lot of great details in the shoe, as you can see, like, inside right there. And this definitely just reminds me of Christmas as a kid, like definitely does so this is gonna be my number five pick right here the KD5 Christmas edition shoe my next shoe number four is gonna be the top 10 2000 right here the nightmare before Christmas edition this one came out last year in 2012 I love how it actually even has the date on the shoe I know they released a crazy eight or they're about to release a crazy eight I don't know if they have the dates on them but I really can appreciate it having the date on the shoe, even the year. In a few years, it's gonna be kind of like, you know, like when you buy the Christmas ornament with the year on it. It kind of has that feel to it now that it's 2013 and these are from 2012. But as soon as I seen these, I had to pick these up and they look insane on feet. And it's just a different Christmas shoe. A lot of the Christmas shoes is just your typical colors, your typical red and white which there's nothing wrong with that because i mean it's christmas and that and that's what we want you know but how many red and white christmas shoes do you need and that's where this one comes into play and it just looks really different and i really love how this is focused on christmas eve right here so you know i will be wearing this tonight on christmas eve if you follow me on instagram you probably already seen me wearing them because i've i was up really early this morning i was up um me, PJ, and Celia, we just came back from the North Pole. We just visited Santa Claus. He needs some help, so we just stopped by and helped him real quick. Now we're back home right now, and um, I actually started wearing these this morning. So if you follow my Instagram, you already seen the picture of me at the North Pole, and I took a quick snap and whatnot. I couldn't take too many pictures, you know what I mean? Santa Claus was like, you got to chill out. You can't be taking all these pictures over at the North Pole. Would you paparazzi or something? I was like, I'm sorry, Santa. So I had to put my iPhone away. It's understandable, though. I'm not tripping. So here we go with my number four pick right here. This is the Nightmare Before Christmas Adidas Top 10 2000. Hot shoe, too. And as far as the fit of these, these run true to size. So number three, we're gonna keep it with Adidas right here. This one right here, I love. The Christmas in Hollis shoe right here. I love the fact it came with no laces and it actually has like this extension attached to this booty right here. And you know, you can wear it without the laces, but it's still like it's fitting to your foot. So it's a hot, hot sneaker. The song Christmas in Hollis, I mean, I'm from New York. It may be different because I'm from New York, but I don't think so. I think that it's just a classic song right there. Like, I hear that beat come in and I'm like, yeah, it's Christmas. I love it. And this is a hot shoe right here. Christmas in Hollis. Once again, not your typical red and white sneaker. You already know a red and white sneaker is hot. It's Christmas. That's what we want to wear. But every year a new red and white sneaker releases. Then something like this releases. And it's a whole nother ball game. This is where... You could rock something that's Christmas inspired, but it's different. It's not the same old song and dance. So me, someone who owns plenty of sneakers, more than your average, can appreciate something like this and love it. Love this one right here. So this is my number three pick of my favorite Christmas shoes that I own right here. The Christmas and Hollis Adidas Keith Herring shoe right here. 
All right, so here we go, number two. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? I know I keep saying uh, I like this sneaker because it's not your typical red and white colorway, but it is Christmas. I keep reminding you that too. And this is my number two pick. It's gotta be Bong, the Christmas LeBron eights right here. This was so out of here when I first seen the images. I was like, yo, this is like the ultimate Christmas shoe. And it really is the ultimate Christmas shoe. I mean, you look at this shoe and you're thinking one thing and one thing only, Christmas. Love it. This is my number two pick. We're going to get to my number one pick. When the photos first leaked on this shoe right here, I lost my mind. I was like, yo, this is the illest Christmas shoe ever. And it's got to be the Kobe Grinch right here. The Kobe Grinch, come on, crazy shoe. I mean, the execution on this is just out of con troll right here it has to be number one greatest christmas shoe possibly ever how can you beat this they just hit the nail on the head with this one i mean the way the upper looks in general like this like popped out synthetic kind of like the grinch's skin it's like this on all these kobe's right here on this model right here but it just works so perfectly and you have your different shades of green and how it fades from a light to a dark toward here and you got your hits of red that just pop like crazy. These are out of control right here. This is my favorite Christmas sneaker. There's no debating. There's no questions on that. It is what it is. This is my number one pick right here, the Kobe Grinch. So with a quick recap, we've got the KD5 Christmas Edition. Then we got the Adidas Top 10 2000 Nightmare Before Christmas. Then we got the Superstar Adidas Run DMC Keith Haring Edition shoe right here. And then we got the LeBron 8 Christmas Edition. And then of course my number one pick is the Grinch. Such a hot shoe. Love this one right here. It's got to be the number one pick. My favorite Christmas shoe right here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the thumbs up button if you love what I'm doing. Check out my blog, thesneakeratic.com, for your sneaker news, release info, restock info. Anything that could help you out with getting your kicks is going to be on my blog, thesneakeratic.com. That's the blog for the people, just like my YouTube channel is for the YouTube channel for the people. And... That's what it is. I hope you guys have a great holiday. Whatever, ho whatever holiday you celebrate, as long as you're with your family, that's what's most important. And everyone out there, be safe. Check the description box below. Also, I did a ton of new reviews. I reviewed a lot of new shoes that are coming out soon. So you want to see these official, authentic shoes early so you know what they look like before you cop them. Go in the description box below, and I also have a lot of other reviews that I've done, like a, pick, a bunch of great pick one episodes. Check the description box below, and make sure to follow my Instagram, which is Team DJ Dells. If you haven't followed my Instagram yet, follow my Instagram, Team DJ Dells. Happy holidays from your boy DJ Dells, Cecilia, the Canyon Wine, and Frosty the Snowman, and we'll be back, really, really sweet. Salute. First we're gonna go find Kumar and then we'll go. Yeah, I heard